uh, our tests are showing we have a need for a small amount of copper. Now, I was wondering, have you added copper sulfate in your burn down or your pre-emerge? It seems like if you spray it when you don't have anything growing above the ground, your risk of damage is really low. Yeah, uh, that's what do you correct. Think about that? Yeah, it, it, it's fine. It's just that copper sulfate doesn't mix very well. So, plus, you've got to get it out of the tank at the end of the day, or you may have problems in that tank. So, if you don't mind doing that, then that's fine. Jar test it first and see if it'll mix. But that's been our biggest problem. Here's the next thing. I was just talking in the last segment a little bit about variable rate. I love variable rate. We can't do variable rate if you're mixing it with herbicide. So now you're going to have the same rate across the entire field. And that's fine if you need the same rate across the entire field. But I'm just saying, like on our farm, we have areas where we got plenty of copper and other areas where we need it yet. So I want to vary the rate. And I, I just, I, I guess I'm just trying to say there are a bunch of reasons I would not put it together. But if you do, be real careful and make sure you clean that sprayer out very well every single night.